See this grid? This is a grid that says I'm excited for motorcycle racing to not be done yet. We've got the motocross of nations. And honestly, I love <laughs> the joke of the Australian. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's just so funny. Uh, because he probably could have been qualifying for the Olympics in <laughs> Australia. I hate those Mercedes, though. These freaking... What the heck are they called? Gosh dang it. What are they? G-Wagons. I Honestly, I'm just not a big fan of them. But I'm a big fan of Hunter Lawrence's moves here. This this is hilarious. And so you got to root for these guys. Absolutely root for these guys. And uh, I'm not following you. So might as well. Here you go, Hunter. Uh, follow one for one, right? Wink, wink. Anyway. Who do I think is going to win? That's what this video is about because there's some heavy hitters and this MX of Nations is geared to start tomorrow for the press conference and then on Saturday you have qualifying, then on Sunday you have all sorts of C and B finals and all the races for all freaking six motos. So, who do I think is going to win? I don't think it's going to be France. I mean, they're loaded with Vial and Febra there. These guys are, are, are doing pretty well. But where did Febra... He finished fifth, right? And Vial, we know that that dude is an XMX2 world champion. So he's probably going to do pretty freaking well there. However, there's just some more heavy hitters here. And guys, I'm probably going to butcher somebody's name here, so I really apologize for that. The speech impediment, the concussions, that's just what it is. Let me know in the comments below that I am offending most people with my pronunciation. Pronunciation. Renault. Okay. And <laughs> Australia. This is honestly, ah, I had it between these guys, Webster, Hunter Lawrence, and Jet Lawrence. I believe Webster's probably going to be the guy that has the, the moto being dropped. However, he could be the reason why they win as well. So this is an eyeball to look out for is these guys right here. The, the, microscope is on freaking Australia. Up next, we have Italy. With Adamo, ah, he did pretty well in the 250. What was he, sixth? So, I, honestly, I'm, I'm going to say Italy. I'm sorry. You guys are not going to win. I honestly don't think Italy is going to get on the podium. Germany, Rox and Langenfeller and Nagel. Dude, oh, man, this one's good, but Kenny, he's wanting to be World Supercross champ, so he's not going to risk the biscuit, right? And Langenfeller, where did he finish? <laughs> in the MX GP standings. Why why am I'm not being able to I could have swore. Right. Gosh, sorry. He's third right there. Okay. So that is honestly a pretty stacked team right here for Germany. So I, I do want to say that they are probably going to be a podium contender. Belgium. Oh Lucas Kunin. Man, this dude that was almost winning. Almost winning. Right? And who do they have for the Gertz, okay, and let's look at them. Something must have happened to both these guys because they are 24th and then also 32nd here. So Lucas Kunin is pretty much the heavy hitter there. It would be awesome if they got on the podium, right? But I'm probably going to say eh, not so much. Germany, I'm definitely thinking, is getting on the podium. Sewer, Tonis, and Giode. For Switzerland, that's a pretty solid team. That that right there is a pretty effing solid team. I want to say they're right there with Germany for a podium spot. I'm looking at Australia being one of those guys that is racing for the win, okay? Spain, Prado, Olivier, Oliver, Olivier, and Fernandez, right? Gosh, dang, man. I, I wish I went to school when I was a kid, and <laughs> I would have a better speech impediment right? Or lack thereof. So Spain. Ah, dang, man. This is honestly a good one too, which I'm going to say that these guys are pretty close to Germany as well as far as getting on the podium. So we've got ah, no, Switzerland and Germany and Spain that I feel is pretty close to trying to race there for, for third. United States. Oh my freaking God. I really think that this team right here is a second place team. I, I know, I know. I'm 
huge Eli fan, huge AP fan, huge Web fan. I just don't think that they have the power. But but it is such a sound team, though, right? If if you're going from United States to Australia, and you have two heavy hitters, Hunter and Jet, and Webster. Webster's the outlier there. But with the United States, we've got Webb, Tomac, and Plessinger. That almost seems like a better built team. Almost. Re- realistically. If we would have had Deegan right here for the 250, it would have been done deal. These guys are racing for the win. And I'm, I'm halfway thinking that they might actually race for the win. This is definitely a podium contender. I've been saying that for quite a lot of countries. However, this is a for sure podium. If the United States does not land on the podium, I'm going to be shocked. I'm going to be in awe. It's going to be a sad, sad day in the Hopper household. But ah, I, I really feel that these guys are a second place team right here. Okay, Australia, I think, is going to race for the either first or third spot. That's really, really where I'm thinking, really what I'm thinking here. And then Slovenia, you got Geyser, the dude that got robbed of the championship here in 2024 by Prado. By how much? How much did he lose by? Ooh, 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 eight points. Nothing really to write home about. Like, that is so eek. Yuck. I bet he is disgusted with that. Just unfortunately, that is a a bummer for sure. And you've got Jan Pankar. Dude, this guy was on the podcast. Young kid. He should have a factory ride for sure. Do I think that this is a podium team? I'm I'm honestly probably going to say no, but these guys are strong competitors with a good team captain of Geyser there. Britain, you have Searle, Anstey, and Musi. Oh, gosh, man, I am really probably shouldn't even post this for how bad I'm butchering everybody's names here. Oh, 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 this guy says Netherlands, Australian, and France. And then USA, my prediction for the weekend. Ah, that's close, close, but I don't agree with you. This is a strong team, but I don't think they're podium either. Ooh, Netherlands. Okay, Hurlings, DeWolf, and Koldenoff. All right, so you have the MX2 world champion, okay, and I think Lucas Kunin is thinking about going to 450s next year, right? Crazy, right, as a young kid. MX2 world champ. Then you have third place and sixth place. Whew. Truthfully, this is the team that's winning. The team that's winning. Okay, so, ah, prediction, Netherlands, United States, Australia. That's what I'm going with. That is what I'm going with. If the Netherlands does not win, I believe it's going to be Australia, but I still think that United States is right going to be there. In ah, That would be the podium then. Australia wins, Netherlands, United States. The other way around, it's the Netherlands, United States, Australia. That is my final prediction. Let me know down in the comments below. Till next time, keep it WFO. Bra-da-da-da-da.